everybody. My name is Julie Jackson. I'm the Outreach Director here at the Art Center in Orange. Last week, we had part one of Rodeo Chicken. Remember our art project that went with part one was we did a rooster. We gave him a comb on top of his head and a waddle under his chin. It was really fun. We did it in oil pastels and watercolors. Well, this week, we're gonna do a portrait of another animal from Rodeo Chicken. This is Buckeye. Buckeye's the old, kind of grouchy grandpa sheep. He's been on the farm for a long, long time. He and Chicken are pretty good friends, as well as Frederick and Jake the dog that's always in trouble. Jake and Frederick and Buckeye and Chicken are wanting to get off of the farm so they go to the fair and there gets a rodeo at the fair. So they're gonna have a really fun time helping Chicken reach his dreams. So, we're doing a portrait, remember? A portrait is from your shoulders on up. We're not gonna include his feet, his legs, his tail, anything like that. So it's just from here on up. We do have a little bit of his back in there. So, when I started drawing my sketches, and that's how I always start with my art project. I make sketches on just any kind of paper that you have at home. You can do it too. So I started out and I thought, what does this sh the face of his jaw, what's the shape look like? So I came up with this one, it kind of looks like a fat B, the letter B. So here's my jaw, and that's the first thing I drew, just like that. Now the next thing I wanted to add were the ears. Now when you do your portrait of your human face, you wanna always think about where your eyes are in comparison with your ears. And that's what you wanna think about with your sheep as well. So the next thing I did was I added the top of his head and his ears. They kinda of go up straight out to the side. And we filled them in a little bit. So there's his top of his head, his ears, and his face. Now remember I told you his eyes go near where his ears are. So that was the next thing we added in there. Now when you add the eyes in there, you wanna fill them in pretty heavily because animals' eyes are bigger. They're a lot bigger than our eyeballs and they're mostly filled in. But we wanna leave a little bit of white in there to show the glint in the eye. So a little sparkle in the eye. So we did that. And I went back over it with some white chalk that I happened to have. And that added a little bit of brightness in his eye. Okay, after that, we added his nose. And in my sketch, I was thinking, how should I make his nose? And I thought of the shape of a heart, but kind of flattened down. So that's his nose right there. We want to fill that in too, because they have nice black shiny noses. So we're going to fill that in with our colored pencil. So there we go. Now, the sheep's mouth is a little wider than a human mouth. And Buckeye's not known for grinning really big. He's pretty grouchy. So he's kind of got a smirk on his face right here. So we add that in there. Now, his face isn't smooth like our skin. His coat has fur and has um, uh, fleece. That's what they call the sheep's coat. It's his fleece. So, we added some lines in there to show that it's not just flat. We added some curls to his forehead. Right here, and I've added them in gray and some black on there so they stand out a little bit. Here's how I did it. This is what a curl looks like to me in his sheet, in his fleece. It's like an open-ended six. It just goes around and around. Last week, we had a spiral. And remember I told you the spiral is a good way to show the sun? Well, this isn't a full spiral. It's just kind of open curl. And that's how we did all of his coat, his fleece. So we've got that going on. Um, added a few 
hairs up in the top of him, up in here. We got his neck. And this is his big, bountiful fleece coat. Now, when you do a portrait, you want to make sure that you have a foreground, which is the picture of the sheep in this case, and you have a background. So you get to decide here, what do you want to put behind your sheep? And I decided to put the field where he lives. So he's out there on the farm, there's some hills. So I drew that with green. And I used some yellow and some dark green. Because when you walk in the meadow, it's not all one color. In the field, you have dark green in there. And you have light green. And when I went on a walk last week, I saw buttercups everywhere. So we want to add a little yellow in there, some little yellow flowers. Now if you notice, the, the grass that's up closer is, is bigger, and the farther back you go, you can barely see it. It's just really tiny uh, pieces of grass that we added in there. We use the side of the colored pencil for the, the sky, and we just used it on the side, and we added that color in there. I wanted a pretty blue, summery day. And you can rub that with your finger and smear it a little bit. You can make some of it lighter, some of it darker. Over here I added a little yellow for a little sunlight. Just some rays of sunlight in there. I didn't draw the whole sun this time. For our clouds, I used some gray colored pencil and drew around those. Kind of some fluffy clouds. You gotta put a, something in there. You can't just be white. You gotta have to outline them so you can see them better. So we added a little gray, had a little yellow, even added a little pink in there just to give it a little bit of color so you can see it. I added some pink to the ears and I added some pink to the fleece. Because he's been out there a long time. He's not pure white. He's got a lot of colors going on in his coat. So this is Buckeye. And you can make the background any kind of thing you want to make it. And just make it your portrait of Buckeye. Your choices any way you want to do it. I'll see you next week for part three. And we'll see Frederick, the very glamorous pig. See you next time.